Hello guys, welcome back to Game of War, play without spending money. That's already the fifth video and I hope you guys are enjoying and find interesting my videos. So, first of all, what we're going to talk about, talk about today, you can see we're in the big account. We're going to talk about events. We're talk about uh, we're going to talk about killing events and merge events. So, and afterwards we will talk about Alliance City because I have noticed that many people are already buying deeds with their kingdom that is too uh, way too new actually to Alliance City. All right, let's talk about events. It's another way to get free resources and free gold as long as you do, as long as you achieve the uh, the quests the the, the event is uh, asking. So, for example, Kingdom of the Event is the one the most difficult event that you can actually do, but we can go and have a look no matter what. Let's wait that it opens up. In fact, all you see up here it says difficult hard. And this one is against other kingdoms. So, Fazil 531, we're a pretty old kingdom. And asking you over here is to increase research power to troops and use speed ups. And as you can see, when you get already to 12 million points, you already get some speed ups. Then you start getting gold. And if you get all the way down, you get 190,000 gold. Uh, but as I said before, it's pretty hard. It will take a lot of speed ups. The one that you you want to actually try to do, uh, and that I'm always suggesting, are all events. Those are pretty easy to do. It takes maybe one research, one or two to complete it, and and the players are pretty nice as well. Because you see, if you don't have any speed ups, you can actually attack monsters, and that's what we'll do to do one of those uh, soul events. So the first prize gives you some VAP points, uh, second prize gives you speed forces, and the third gives you gold and materials. Now, the one that is a little hard to do, but even more convenient than the Kingdom event is the Inferno Soul event. Inferno Soul event uh, may take about I'll say about 90 days speed ups to complete it. Now I'm on a 9 level, so it will be more. But look what the prizes are. So first prize gives you crowns. Crowns are a new currency that the kingdom, so the the person holding the wonder is the, the king of the kingdom, right? So when you uh, do the first prize, this 5,000 crowns goes straight to the wonder, and and they can buy power ups for the for the entire kingdom that will open in case of killing event. So first prize that is twenty two million five hundred thousand points gives you already one three day speed up and some VAP points. Twenty six million you get forty thousand gold in materials, and with seventy five million that's very good. It's a very good one. Gives you three hundred thousand gold. And two 30 day speed ups plus tons of materials. So, if you get to 75 millions, you actually get all the prizes. Then we have the event leaders. If you, uh, there is, um, um, you're competing against all the kingdom. So, who makes more points and achieve to get even those rewards? And then you can see down here, there are even legendary items, legendary materials. That, I mean, to get to level 6, I told you, you have to combine 4 items on level 1 to get to level 2 and 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 then keep going up to level 6. So, this is a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good prize if you manage to win it. Now, uh, you can notice over here, I have an Alliance City event. Alliance City event, it's... It start whenever you build up an alliance city. So, and right now it's asking for resources. So you have to donate resources. Over here it says 925 million a hundred. Or gain alliance city research might. Or construction might. Or if you refine materials. Now, and those are the prices. And the, the, the best price gives you three epic speed ups that goes from 
I think the lowest one usually uh, comes out it's eight hours and it goes up to 30 days so you may have a chance to drop three 30 days by completing this event and then it gives you maps now we'll talk about maps as well treasure maps and and gives you gold gifts as well where you can find even gold in it okay now we go into the alliance city we uh, the alliance city comes out when the kingdom is less than two days old so that's when you want to start that that's one of the reasons why you want to start to save resources keep them in your items because then you're going to need a lot of resources to build it up. And right now we have a um, um, headquarter. The stronghold in the land city is named headquarter. And we're upgrading from level 2 to level 3. Now we will click on it and we will enter into the alliance city. So alliance city, uh, as, um, as first you get a gift. So there is a gift every day. Unless you open all of them, if everybody opens the the lens gift, there will be another one right away. Let's see what we get. We, it's a small price, but we still take it. So, um, Alliance City has got different resources than the than your own city. We have and now we go and have a look. We have the coin, we have the sir, we have the metal, we have the wood, and we have the marble. To, to uh, refine these materials, and I'll give you an example, hopefully we have enough materials, uh, we have enough resources, like for example, to do the bricks, right? It depends where you put the, uh, where you actually scroll on the bar, uh, it will take more hours but less resources, this way it will take more time but like just a little bit of resources. What are you actually trying to do when you need resources to do uh, constructions or or research? You want to just pull it all the way down. Now we'll try to do the cider because I think that's the uh, no. We do the the wood, the the meal, so the lumber meal. Okay, so I think enough resources to go all the way down. So the max right now is twenty five hundred. But uh, there is a glitch on the on this thing, so we're going to try if it works. It's not working. Uh, to make twenty five hundred. Mm, no, it's not working. Well, we will do a little less. Doesn't matter. So now it will take one hour and four minutes to do all this lumber. Now. <clears throat> You know there are rankings. There are there is a rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four, and rank five. That is the leader of the alliance. Only rank four and five can start refinement, can do constructions, and can start a research. So when you have an alliance city, then you want to pick wisely the members that are gonna work with you with the alliance city. Okay, those are the buildings that for now are uh, available. And we have the, the sale out that is to receive resources. So you can donate resources into a land city by paying taxes and have resources to make, so refine into the new resources. And to do so, you need the buildings. Now, this one over it's called the mint, and this one converts ore and silver into coin. Then we have the brick works, uh, and it does bricks. But you need stone and wood. You need exactly. Let's see if, if it tells me. Uh, let's go to more information. Probably going to be down here. Well, I think it's about 10 millions of each to uh, to do the 2,500 bricks. And if we keep going with the ironworks to do the iron, the cider mill to do the cider, and the lumber mill to do the lumber. Okay, those are the uh, 
the buildings you need to make resources and uh, you can see up here we have a lot of resources we are about hundreds of thousands so we have tons of resources now there are two more buildings this one over here it's called all of quests all of quests in other words you have a lot of quests and uh, and you can do one every six hours as soon as you complete it, it gives you resources as well. So you have another way to get resources and materials. And as well, it gives you points to fill up the gift bar up here. If you fill up the gift bar, everybody will get that gift. And usually it's a great gift. It contains gold most of the time. So you want to try, and it's hard, I know, because we never made it. Actually, we made it once and it was gold. But I know that because uh, in the other accounts that I have, we you, we do it pretty much every time. Um, what you want to do is try to fill all the bar all the way down, and, and collect it. You have to make sure you collect it before the time this one over here expires. Otherwise, even if you have you're done with the quest but you didn't collect it, it will refresh like it says up here. Quests that have not been started and uncollected, quests will reset upon refresh. So you must. Make sure that as soon as the quest is done, collect it, and it will fill up the bar up here. Then we have the university. University is it, it's pretty much the same thing of the academy. Academy, academy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and and for now, they they only have the economics. So in other words, to refine materials and and to spend less or to speed up the production. That's pretty much what it is. And there is a lot of research to do. Now, more you upgrade the, the headquarter, more actually uh, help you can give while you do a research. Like, for example, if we, if we go to overview, over here it tells you all the buildings and what level there are. And the max level is level 5, so we're doing pretty good. Tells you all the materials you have, and when you click on tells you even what the equator does. The equator increases the donation size. So when you send resources to the uh, resources to the Alliance City, and this point is the research that will give you more helps to speed up research, and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to have a look at it. Okay, let's see, for example, donation, uh, Alliance City construction speed. Okay, let's have a look at this, this one. Information, construction speed for upgrading Alliance City buildings. So it goes up to 2%. Now, we will talk about the speed ups of the Alliance City. And we'll talk about the requirements to build up an Alliance City. Okay, number one, speed ups. In the Alliance City, the speed ups cost five times more than the regular city. So if you want to buy a one minute speed up, it won't be five gold, but will be 25 gold. Then if you want to buy, for example, a three hour speed up, it won't be 300 gold, will be 1500 gold. So it's five times the, uh, the gold required uh, compared to the your own little city. Now, requirements to build up an Alliance City. The kingdom should be four months and two days old. Then you will have the chance to build up the Alliance City. What materials you need? You need, I don't remember exactly the amount because it's like six numbers, so it's pretty hard to tell. I think it was about 800 million silver and 1.1 billion of all the other resources. How long it takes to build it up? It takes 30 minutes. Can you speed up the process? No, you're not allowed to speed up, up the process. Why? Because you don't have an hero. You don't have a gear to wear. You don't have, in other words, a hero that can wear a gear and have boosts on it. And at the meantime, you don't even have any options to, uh, to boosts, like the 10% research or 20% research that you have in the little city. Now, sometimes happens 
that in the city, like right now we have uh, a kingdom boost. Kingdom boost, we, we're going to have a look at this one. Right now it's giving 500% 500, 500 troop queue bonus, 20% training speed, 300% getting speed, and 300% march speed. And at the meantime, we have 10% speed up usage boost. These boosts are only for the little city, not for the alliance city. So if you really want to speed up that, you need gold. And you need five times gold, like I said before, to speed them up. Now, we said all the resources we need. Now, deeds. Deeds are very important pretty much for everything. If you want to do a building construction, you're going to need deeds. If you want to do um, an upgrade of the headquarter, you're still going to need deeds. To build up the land city, you need 2,500 deeds. So you want to save loyalty because one deed, it's 20,000 loyalty. So you're going to need exactly, I think is uh, 50 million loyalty and 50 million fan to buy all the deeds required. So what I've done to incentivize my players was um, I have the gift mode and I have the attack max attack mode because one day they were giving uh, Athena gifts and, and I dropped it. I found it in there. So I actually managed to get it for free. So what I was doing was I had a lot of gold because I was doing a lot of events. And I was telling them, every day that you buy, I gift you something that is worth 100 gold. And we were doing a little. It was just to give something back. Otherwise, people were not going to buy it. This one is a good way to have people save loyalty. And at the meantime, um, so now that we know what the requirements are, so that we have to save resources. It's like I always told you that we need to save loyalty to buy deeds. I think you pretty much know everything about Alliance City. So now we're going back to the kingdom because I want to show you another way to get gold. So we go to the kingdom map by clicking up here next to the map and we enter it. Now we'll be close to the wonder. That's the wonder and every... Like I said before, every kingdom has got one. Getting the access to the wonder and all the new wonder gives boosts to all the members of your alliance. Now, I want to show you something. There are some others who are the one close to the hive that when they get killed, when you kill them, they contain gold. It takes a little longer to actually gather all of them and you need of course a good research on the hero to attack a level at least a level five but what we're actually going to do is not gathering only for the gold but gathering for all the items the materials you have up here and the gems what are the gems the gems are pretty much the same on materials you have to combine them up to level six and you need four to achieve the 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 next level the gems give you boosts there are gems for the troops that gives more health or more attack there are gems for the hero that gives you more uh, quicker recovery of the energy or gives you critical it and there are gems as well for the traps uh, so to make your 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 walls stronger and the last type of gems we have are the specific gems and they give you boosts for the crafting now let's go back over here and let's find an area where we have some monsters we are again and we're now trying to find a level 5 monster to find the gold pile and at the meantime to get her over there and to get of course materials like we said before okay there should be usually monsters uh, right at the edge of the uh, of the wonder and if it's true there we go we found one just right here we'll teleport over and we will attack him so I'm using gold to teleport next to it 
And now you can see it's into the forest. When you try to attack a monster into the forest, uh, what's gonna happen is that your hero will slow down because when you uh, try to um, attack the wonder, you have to go through the the forest, of course. So they get hard, and they make you actually um, they make you actually wait some time before you get to the destination. Okay, so. Let's put some era boosts and as well we put the gear, the Slayer gear, like did the one that I showed you the day. Okay, so we go to my items and we go to war all the way down. There all the energy and the boosts for the hero are for the last two options. There we go. So 50 minutes, 5% bonus on the attack and we're just gonna oh okay so before we do that this is the uh, the set that you're gonna need to uh, make more silver so just have a look at the items make sure that when you need silver you craft these items. Now, let's put on this layer gear. I'll try to do as quick as possible, so we don't waste any more time. Because I know you guys watching me, but you don't want to be bored. And the last access. Okay, so we go back into the map and we attack the monster. Alright, now you'll see how the era will slow down and we'll go slowly, lolly. But you know uh, how people say when you go slow, you go safe. So now I think we'll take about five or six attacks to kill the to kill a um, level five monster. But with this layer gear. We will actually get to it pretty quick. So what I'm gonna do is just speed up a little bit the the hero because I don't want to stay all night over here. And we put the five minutes to hundred percent boost. All right, let's put some more energy. I got the energy by doing the solo elements. So if you need energy, that's a good way to get it. Do the solo event. It's easy. It's quick, and you drop a one or two every time you finish the event. All right. Of course, as you know, we're gonna drop a lot of items, so hopefully we're dropping something epic. Epic, it's level 5. So, materials. There is a... Um, let's see if I remember right. Okay, the level 6 is legendary. Level 5 is epic. Level 4 is rare. Then we have level 3 that is uncommon. Level 2 that is common. And level 1 that I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't use those materials anymore the, the small ones all right let's attack him i think the last time hopefully no 
I'm going to get 750 some percent speed. It's true that I have the 200 on, but all right. So, and we need the last hit. You only got four percent, so we actually only going to need one. Wait for the euro to go back home. Alright. And we do. Let's turn max it. So now the monster will be dead. We give a gift for all the alliance. We drop some items. We'll, I will have a look later. Doesn't matter. And now we send the troops up here. Occupy. Nice. 6,000 gold. Alright. Proceed. And we're going to send the elephants. Okay. So now. Let's go back to the city for one second. I want to see something from the event. To see if we actually, uh, from the solo man, managed to make some points. Because before it was saying, by killing masters you get points. But in this case, no, in this case it's only reach power and build power. So, gotta like, yeah, to check that before killing master. Anyway, now we go back to our hive. And the easiest way is by... Clicking on the Alliance City. So it tells you right away where the Ive is. Uh, it takes 15 seconds. So we're going to wait 15 seconds before the troops gets there. Then when they get there, we will teleport. Because when you have an active march, you're not allowed to teleport. Alright, they got there. Now we can teleport back over here. Whenever they're done, they will come back. Whatever your city is located and what we'll do is talk about the maps I got a lot of maps because I've been playing for a long time like every other uh, thing you have to combine it up to level 6 and now we'll see if we have any maps to combine and after we're done with doing so yeah, there is something to combine in this one over here. We'll just do it. And we do combine. And I'm signed to level 4, as you can see over here. Now, you want to use a map. Why we use the map? The map contains, guess what? Resources and materials and gold sometimes. You go to map inventory. inventory and we're going to do a level 1. Now, if you, if you do this map, you have a chance to drop all, you have a chance to drop XP for the hero, you have a chance to drop uh, legendary items, and question marks, something else. So we're going to use the map. And if you are lucky, it will drop the, the treasure around your area, but I think it's too far away. Let's try. Oh, okay. We can do that. So, we get some elephants. They do these because they're quicker. And it will take 8 minutes to get there. And 1 hour, and one minute and 45 seconds to excavate the... To dig the, the treasure. So, we're just going to send them. And whenever they're done, they're done, they will... They will tell you treasure found. And you can have a, have a look and a browse what, what you actually found. <clears throat> okay, so it seems like that for tonight it's all. This is a pretty long video, so if you get bored, just keep a couple of minutes and get to the part that you are interested in. Don't forget to get subscribe. If you have any questions, just write a comment and we'll answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new episode. Thank you, and these horses at the third gives you gold and materials. The one that is a little hard to do, but 
even more convenient than the Kingdom event is the Inferno Soul event. Inferno Soul event uh, may take about, I'll say about 90 day speed ups to complete it. Now I'm on a 9 level, so it will take more. But look what the prizes are. So first prize gives you crowns. Crowns are a new currency that the kingdom, so the the person holding the wonder is the, the king of the kingdom, right? So when you uh, do the first prize, this 5,000 crowns goes straight to the wonder, and and they can buy power-ups for the for the entire kingdom that will open in case of killing event. So first prize that is 22,500,000 points gives you already one three day speed up and some VIP points. 26 million you get 40,000 gold in materials. And with 75 million, that's very good. It's a very good one. Gives you 300,000 gold and two 30 day speed ups plus tons of materials. So if you get to 75 million, you actually get all the prizes. Then we have the event leaders. If you, uh, there is, um, um, you're competing against all the kingdom. So who makes more points and achieve to get even those rewards. And then you can see down here, there are even legendary items, legendary materials. That, I mean, to get to level six, I told you, you have to combine four items on level one to get to level two and 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 then keep going up to level six so this is a pretty good um it's a pretty good prize if you manage to win it now uh, you can notice over here i have an alliance city event alliance city and it's it starts whenever you build up an alliance city so and right now it's asking for resources so you have to donate resources over here is a Hello guys, welcome back to Game of War, play without spending money. That's already the fifth video and I hope you guys are enjoying and find interesting my videos. So, first of all, what we're going to talk about, talk about today, you can see we're in the big account. We're going to talk about events. We're, talk about, uh, we're going to talk about killing events and merge events. So, and afterwards we will talk about Alliance City. Because I have noticed that many people are already buying deeds with their kingdom that is too, uh, way too new, actually, to Alliance City. Alright, let's talk about events. Events it's another way to get free resources and free gold as long as you do, as long as you achieve the, uh, the quests the, the, the event is uh, asking. So, for example, Kingdom of the Event is the one, the most difficult event that you can actually do, but we can go and have a look no matter what. Let's wait that it opens up. In fact, all you see up here it says difficult hard. And this one is against other kingdoms. So, Fazil 531, we're pretty old. And asking you over here is to increase research power to troops and use speed ups. And uh, you can see when you get already to 12 million points, you already get some speed ups. Then you start getting gold. And if you get all the way down, you get 190,000 gold. Uh, but as uh, I said before, it's pretty hard. It will take a lot of speed ups. The one that you, you want to actually try to do, uh, and that I'm always suggesting, or elements, those are pretty easy to do. It takes maybe one research, one or two to complete it. And and the players are pretty nice as well. Because you see, if you don't have any speed ups, you can actually attack monsters. And that's what we'll do to do one of those uh, soul elements. So the first prize gives you some VAP points. Uh, second prize gives you 925 million and 100. Or gain Alliance City Research Might, or Construction Might, or if you refine materials. Now, and those are the prices. And the, the, the best price gives you three epic speed ups that goes from, I think the lowest one usually uh, comes out, it's eight hours. 
and it goes up to 30 days so you may have a chance to drop three 30 days by completing this event and then it gives you maps now we'll talk about maps as well treasure maps and and gives you gold gifts as well where you can find even gold in it okay now we go into the alliance city we uh, the alliance city comes out when the kingdom is less than two days old so that's when you want to start that that's one of the reasons why you want to start to save resources keep them in your items because then you're going to need a lot of resources to build it up. And right now we have a um, um, headquarter. The stronghold in the land city is named headquarter. And we're upgrading from level 2 to level 3. Now we will click on it and we will enter into the alliance city. So alliance city, uh, as, um, as first you get a gift. So there is a gift every day. Unless you open all of them, if everybody opens the the lens gift, there will be another one right away. Let's see what we get. We, it's a small price, but we still take it. So, um, Alliance City has got different resources than the than your own city. We have and now we go and have a look. We have the coin, we have the sir, we have the metal, we have the wood, and we have the marble. To, to uh, refine these materials, and I'll give you an example, hopefully we have enough materials, uh, we have enough resources, like for example, to do the bricks, right? It depends where you put the, uh, where you actually scroll on the bar, uh, it will take more hours but less resources, this way it will take more time but like just a little bit of resources. Uh, let's go to more information probably gonna be down here well I think it's about 10 millions of each to uh, to do the 2500 bricks and if we keep going with the ironworks to do the iron the cider meal to do the cider and the lumber meal to do the lumber Okay, those are the uh, the buildings you need to make resources. And uh, you can see up here we have a lot of resources. We are about hundreds of thousands, so we have tons of resources. Now, there are two more buildings. This one over here, it's called All of Quests. All of Quests, in other words, you have a lot of quests. And, uh, and you can do one every six hours. As soon as you complete it, it gives you resources as well. So you have another way to get resources and materials. And as well, it gives you points to fill up the gift bar up here. If you fill up the gift bar, everybody will get that gift. And usually it's a great gift. It contains gold most of the time. So you want to try, and it's hard, I know, because we never made it. Actually, we made it once and it was gold. But I know that because uh, in the other accounts that I have, we you, we do it pretty much every time. Um, what you want to do is try to fill all the bar all the way down, and, and collect it. You have to make sure you collect it before the time this one over here expires. Otherwise, even if you have you're done with the quest but you didn't collect it, it will refresh like it says up here. Quest that have not been started and uncollected, quest will reset upon refresh. So you must. Make sure that as soon as the quest is done, collect it, and it will fill up the bar up here. Then we have the university. University is it, it's pretty much the same thing of the academy. Academy, academy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and and for now, they they only have the economics. So in other words, what are you actually trying to do when you need resources to do uh, constructions or? Or research you want to just pull it all the way down now we'll try to do the cider because I think that's the uh, no we do the the food the the meal so the lumber meal okay so I think enough resources to go all the way down so the max right now is 2500 but there is a glitch on the on this thing so we're going to try if it works not working uh, 
to make 2500 Nah, it's not working. Well, we will do a little less. Doesn't matter. So now it will take one hour and four minutes to do all this lumber. Now, <clears throat> you know there are rankings. There are there is a rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four, and rank five. That is the leader of the alliance. Only rank four and five can start refinement can do constructions and can start a research. So when you have an Alliance City, then you want to pick wisely the members that are going to work with you with the Alliance City. Okay, those are the buildings that for now are uh, available. And we have the, the sale out that is to receive resources. So you can donate resources into the Alliance City by paying taxes and have resources to make so refine into the new resources and to do so you need the buildings now this one is called the mint and this one converts ore and silver into coin then we have the brickworks uh, and it does bricks, but you need stone and wood. You need exactly, let's see if, if it tells me. 